Uh, thank you for joining me. I'm going to be reading the Earth Class Notes, written by the Twelfth Apostle, entitled, How, What, When, and Why. We now have the opportunity to learn, especially when we apply how, what, when, and why, to our great God's purpose and plan. At this current continuation of time, every negative proves a positive within the recently opened souls of everyone, everyone except fallen humanity here. With God's purpose for his witnesses, you and I, we understand that now every bad thing that has ever taken place here or anywhere else has been made good. But how? Uh, due to our great God having worked through these events and their negative consequences, having been judged by his beloved son. With Lucifer having forever rested his case, the entire host of heaven are using all past negatives as a learning reference to gain a greater love and appreciation for both God and his only begotten son. Very soon, when all negatives no longer exist, all beings will use every past negative of all time to further understand the holy, righteous character and unconditional love of God in Christ through perfect memory and many reference points. When we apply how, what, when, and why to everything, you and I can cause joy in heaven through furthering our understanding of so much. How, what, when, and why can we make the very most of our unique privilege which cost God and Jesus everything? Let us question our current understanding of the everlasting future for everyone by asking ourselves these four questions. How, what, when, and why does our current understanding of God's future prepared for everyone fit within his unconditional progressive plan of preparing the very best for all while remaining consistent with his unconditional ever-increasing love for all. If sovereignty is still the best way, and it is, then how, what, when, and why could Lucifer, who has rested his case, repented, learned, understood, and believed all the proven truth we have made known to him, have not proven himself worthy to be with God, his creator forever. In the same context, how, what, when, and why could it be more pleasing to God for the only male angel he ever created to be confined within a heavenly hiding place? never to see this mighty, repentant angel who now loves his Creator like never before. By having enlarged his soulish abilities to the point of thinking logically. If Lucifer was limited to his hiding place, would this fit in with God's progressive, unconditional love for him? And what would be the consequences of Lucifer and his former fallen descendants having believed the truth, if they were forever hid from God and Jesus. With deception no longer in existence and all non-pardoned souls within the heavenly hiding place, having believed the truth of God and Jesus' unconditional love for them, and if they wanted to be with God and Jesus, wouldn't the same be true for them? What of the pardoned ones of the new earth who chose to progress beyond where they are by loving, learning of, and honoring God and Jesus in the future, wouldn't the same be true for them? Stay with me now in this ultimate new adventure of how, what, when, and why is united with now and forever. All of this are the results of a perfect plan. If God had understood and known of all of the bad, wrong, evil things that would ever occur, then Lucifer would have had a valid legal claim to his objection and his rebellion long, long ago. His legal claim would have began with how, what, when, and why 
could be justly asked of God. Those who choose to believe this wrong theology that our God knew all of this evil would occur will very soon see that blind faith is wrong. Your belief, your choice, choose wisely. Until next time.